All right, Shalom. Once again, we are the Hebrew Israelites. Our job is to come out here and teach the word and truth and sincerity, okay? Whether in, in, uh, in season or out, or out of season, okay? And our mission is to wake up the elected of Israel, okay? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And, and uh, two-thirds of our people, they're going to die, okay? According to the word. This is Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Sorry, sorry. Right. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me. We start right there. It says the prophets that have been before me. And guess what? We the prophets coming back. We're starting off with, our, with the elders of Great Millstone, okay? We the ones out here uh, crying and sighing for all the abominations that we've done in the misery of. We the only ones that's condemning America. And we the only ones that want America to be destroyed, okay? Because it's in the Bible. And before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. You prophesied against many countries, okay? And it's going to say great kingdoms, okay? So we, we, we're, 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 not, we're not for America. We're totally against America in its, in its wicked ways, okay? Because America's conception is through wickedness, okay? The so called white man, when he came over here in 1492, or, you know, prior to that, he he slayed uh, the, uh, the natives that was already over here, okay? This is not his land. He stole his land from, from our people, okay? The, the, the Hebrew Israelites, the, uh, the ten tribes that came over here uh, during this, uh, the seventh century, okay? BC. And against great kingdoms of war and of evil. And that's what's coming to America. War, evil, and it's going to take. And of pestilence. And of pestilence, and diseases, okay? Disease warfare is already going. In America, you know, you got certain diseases that's killing off a lot of people over here in America, especially food, okay, where they food, because pestilence is already begun. As a matter of fact, let me add to that, the CDC even endorsed the game you could actually purchase, for, uh, it's like an app on your phone, and the premises of the game is basically choosing the, uh, right disease or bacteria or basically epidemic that would kill out the most population you know and they got rave reviews from uh guys like ign which is a popular uh, uh game critic and they said you know who thought whoever thought killing billions of people would be so much fun you know what i mean and basically what they're doing they pointed out i was watching this video how they're basically using you people to pick out the best case scenario for a a, a, a pandemic you know, to wipe you out. And you basically choose, you know, whether you want a, a bacterial disease, all right? Yeah, uh, airborne spread virus. You can go and Google this and look this up. Just call yourself, man. All right. Yeah, so like just you, in reference to that, the disease warfare. You got this other devil, uh, King Philip, which he's not a fucking king. He's not a part of the... the, the he's got an agent family. behind us. Ah. King Philip II, he said that that if he died, he would he would like to be reincarnated as a disease. To kill Join, run, run away slave. To, uh, to kill off the majority of the people. Oh, okay. And that's that's the MO of, 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 of the so-called white man. This is the uh, rape, rob, and murder. Okay. That's called life. My man got the smile. He got the smile. He know what's up. My man got the smile. He he know what's up. <laughs> All right, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. It says, speak thou in the ears of my people, the Most High's people are the Israelites, okay? Round two. The Most High's people are the, are the Israelites, okay? So, once again, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? The scriptures told us to speak thou in the ears of, of the Most High's people the words of prophecy, okay? And that's our job. We, we, we're supposed to tell them that the kingdom of Heaven is at hand, and that America is going to be destroyed, okay? By nuclear fire. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper. For this they is the Bible, are, okay? For they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. So as people come against the scoff, and we ain't supposed to uh, get phased by it, okay? We're not supposed to be afraid of Let's speak against them. For all the unfaithful. And they're not speaking against us, they're speaking against the most high, okay? Alright, verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Okay, that's right. talking about two-thirds of Israel, okay? All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Okay, so two-thirds is going to be cut off, okay? 
Why? Because they choose to, to rather uh, perform wicked, wickedness instead of performing the, the law and duty of Yahweh Verse 5. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Mosai said he's going to bring plagues upon the world, okay? Destruction. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's, that, those are the vices that the Most High have in line to take this place out, okay? Which is, this place is Esau's world. This is not our rest, okay? For the wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right. It's verse six. Uh, for the wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. It's like the scriptures also say that her sins have reached unto heaven. Okay, that's the wickedness that's 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 polluted the whole entire earth. Okay, and the most, uh, give me your Revelation eleven. Revelation chapter 11 verse 18 uh, and the nations were angry and thy wrath has come yeah so when the time comes the nations going to be mad when the, when the Lord comes on earth you know and wreaks havoc on the planet he's going to take away the, the power of, of the nations okay Uh, Revelations 11 and 18 and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come and the time of the dead that they should be judged the, time, the, the dead are, are referring to the other nations okay and that thou shouldest give reward upon thy servants the prophets so after we endure until the end that we're going to get a reward okay as long as we continue to do the work the truth and sincerity and be among the elect and have and have faith okay we're going to be delivered okay and to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, and should it destroy them which destroyed the earth. Yeah. We can't play here. All right. Uh, from the top? No, from should it destroy them. All right. Uh, it says, and, and should it destroy them which destroyed the earth. It says, should it destroy the uh, 2022. Okay. It says, should it destroy them that destroyed the earth. But who's the one that destroyed the earth, okay? The so-called white man, okay? That's this point blank period. You don't have to go through a cross fucking examination. Okay, it's 2014. Everybody should know that by now. That the white man is, is, is the goddamn devil. Uh, 12, 12, 12, 12. All right. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell therein. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Which the heavens are referring to Esau's world, okay? And it said, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. So you people walking up down the street, you people all over the world. No the pictures. Told Ain't you, no woke, pictures, okay? man. Destruction hey, is yo, coming. Yo, man, don't be a fucking devil, man. No pictures. Fucking okay. goop. It's Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Destruction unto the, to the people of the earth. And of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you. So-called white man, okay, in the form of his armies. Having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. A short time to do what? His, uh, perform his new world order. This is going to fail because in the end, Yahweh Shah is going, to, is going to reign on the planet earth, okay? And rule in righteousness. And he's going to destroy the, the kingdoms that's on the earth. You know? uh. Which is our which is our government by the, the heathen, okay? It's starting with the so-called white man, he has a, a hegemony over the whole entire earth. This is Haggai chapter two, verse twenty-two, and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen, and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them, Khan, and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of kingdoms. Of the heathen, and the Most High said He's going to send His Son, you know, and also we're going to do His bidding as well when we get that power. Okay, we say He's going to destroy the kingdoms of the heathen. Okay, Haggai two and twenty-two, and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen, 
and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them, and the horses and their riders shall come down. That's referring to the, uh, the nation's armies. Okay? Uh, World War III. How shall come down? Because it says it's going to uh, come from the east and go to the west. So he's going to meet those armies over here in the Middle East. He's going to utterly destroy them, as it says in uh, 2nd Ezra's 13th chapter. Okay? Everyone by the sword of his brother. Everyone by the sword. Second Ezra's chapter seven, uh, chapter uh, sixteen, verse sixteen. Uh, actually, verse fifteen. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundation of the earth. And read that from the top again. Both the scriptures. Okay. This is uh, Second Ezra's chapter seventeen or uh, sixteen. Verse, uh, verse 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they so come like, like upon the, the earth. It's like, it's like the most I said, his, his word doesn't come back to him void, okay? But it's going to execute what he, what he sent it out to do, okay? Right. Verse 15. The fire is kindled. The fire, the nuclear fire, okay, which is going to destroy America. Especially you fucking people, okay? The scriptures say that you're gonna be fueled for the fire. Okay. And so not the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundation of the earth. And that's a miracle. I got a little more to it. Fourteen. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again. Until they can, they, till they come upon the earth, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer, returneth not backward. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days? And that was Ezra was just having a vision of what was to come. And that also proves that reincarnation exists, okay? Because he knew he was going to be in that time period. This is right now, you know? So Ezra's here on earth, you know? And he said, what was me? That's how terrible the, the destruction that's going to take place. You know, and, and our job is to, is to uh, take heed to the scriptures, okay? And trust in your house, watch me out shop. Well, that's what I was just going to say. That's why it's recorded in Daniel. So the amount of tribulation is that's coming is like never was or never will be after, you know? You guys are going to hell. You're already in hell. You're already in hell. Yeah. yeah. You're going to live in hell and die in hell. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? He was an idiot. You know? sounds stupid, though. Yeah, yeah. We're entertaining, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's 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 you know that's Israel being uh you know blithering morons you know. Did you guys go to hell? We're already in hell, you know. It can't get you know. Shit, can't get any worse for you people. I mean, it can't technically, and it's going to for two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. We're entering the time of Jacob's trouble, and then you can tell us who's going where. All right, when they have your ass in the concentration camp. And then and, and then the hellfire, the real hell that comes, man. Let this brother this. It's, uh, Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 He's on the he's on the you know uh, love doctrine you know you gotta love everybody you know that's why we're going to hell because you know yeah, everybody meaning Esau yeah kind that's right because uh, if the white man was here he wouldn't be saying that yeah know? right exactly yeah he'd be intrigued he'd, he'd study it you know why is the church all right, this is uh, Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. So, so once again, the two-thirds are going to die, especially that, that scoffing-ass nigga that went up the street, you know? It's another sign that we're in the last days, man. Right. And he might be a tear anyway. He thought was a white man talking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> right. With, uh, Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. So those that do wickedly, they're going to die. Hey, what's that scripture? I think it's Psalm 34. Uh, Psalm 34 and 16. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. 
Which the saint, you got again? Right. So Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which so, say, so the most, this is the uh, decree by the most high. He said you niggas are gonna die, man. When the time of martial law come to calamities that's coming upon the earth, you niggas are gonna get swept away in destruction, okay? And we we can't fucking wait. The scriptures also say that we ain't gonna shed a tear for you niggas, man. And especially you black unconscious niggas. You know, talking all kinds of shit, man. The black woman is God, you know? That uh, a woman can reproduce by herself, you know? Bufflin oh, Don't even get me yeah, started on that topic. Bufflin Blaine, cunt. It's 2014, you got niggas, you, you gotta debate the nigga, you know, about that bullshit. Amos chapter 9 verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. So you niggas that don't want to take heed to the word, you got you got death to look forward to. Okay. Which say the evil shall not the, overtake. The, the, but the life is a scripture, okay? But you refuse it, you know? You want to live out the wicked ways on earth. Especially here in America. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's the mentality of our people that that destruction ain't coming, that the prophecies, pro, the prophecies of the Most High is gonna fail. Okay. Thirty-four. Yeah, yeah, I, I got, I got that. Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 11 Say I am your sign Like as I have done So shall it be done unto them is man America's on its way out you know America is completely finished I was just reading an article that um, they're basically trying to pass a spending bill and basically up the amount of debt that they're gonna accumulate and uh, what they're trying to pass is a, is a bill for 1.1 trillion all right an, an, an additional trillion to the already trillions that America's already accumulated the scriptures say, woe unto him that lineth himself with thick clay. So by that scripture alone, woe meaning destruction, America is fucking finished, man. Yeah, you know? Say something. Economically, the most high is causing it to where the society is going to completely break down before the missiles come. You know? The missiles being that grand uh, 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 finalization of the destruction. You mean to tell me America accumulated more debt than any kingdom that was on the planet Earth, but America isn't in the Bible. You know? Right. And the brother just quoted the scripture, woe to him that is laden with laden, laden himself with laden thick clay. Himself with thick clay. The clay is referring to the debts, okay? okay? And that debt is exceeding uh, 17 trillion. Con, yep. And the, the prophecies are coming to pass, so you're you gonna die, okay? That's yep. the point. Yeah, because I was just I was just talking to this brother in the you know Zion or whatever, and basically they um to come out of that uh, government shutdown and all that they basically uh said that they have till february to come up with a solution and so from that article their only solution is to do what is to accumulate more debt that's the only thing they could do why do you think jeremiah talked about how if america if babylon could be healed all right she would have been healed herself but she is not healed and there's no bomb so there's no remedy the only remedy to really uh 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 to cure Babylon is for it to be eradicated by thermonuclear missiles. That's it. That is that is the cure, you know? The real cure is having Babylon being destroyed. The, 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 the answer to all your problems is, is the destruction of Babylon. Thus ain't the Bible. This is Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of... Yeah, Son of man, what is what is what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged? Yeah, this is what the majority of our people are saying. Okay. 
the days are prolonged that ain't nothing happening, you know? That's the mentality. Right. Ain't nothing going to happen, you know? Oh, uh, YOLO. Since our and, father's forced fell asleep, sick of Peter. And every vision failing. The every vision is referring to the prophecies, okay? But it, it, as we speak, the prophecies come to pass left and right, you know? Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord Power, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say so unto them. going to come that, that, that two thirds of our people, they're going to be shocked, okay? That what we're saying out here for years was, was the truth, okay? But say unto them, the days are at hand. And that's what we're saying. That, God damn it. It said the days are at hand, okay? That's why we all on the streets teaching. And the effect of every vision. And the effect of every vision that the prophecies come to pass. Okay? This is Luke chapter 21, verse 22. For these be the days of, ju of vengeance. Read that again. Uh, Luke chapter 21, verse 22. For these be the days of vengeance. That all things, yeah, these were the days of retribution, okay, right. way back, okay, right. The most sides want to destroy those that do with you, right. right. That all things, the scripture say that vengeance burneth in his heart. He, he can't wait to send his son down and wreak fucking havoc on the earth. Right. You know? What? Oh, okay. yeah. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Hey, all things that's written in the Bible may be fulfilled. Those are the prophecies. Keep going. But woe unto them that oh. are with child. <laughs> and to them that give suck in those days. That's referring to you, you dumbass black women, you know? Who, who, who uh, uh, puts hell on your men. No, we, we live in a, a luxurious lifestyle here in America. the kid as a fucking paycheck, but guess what? Woe unto you, because you ain't going to be able to feed your kid. You know? Right. This it talks about uh, Rachel Reaper for her children. That, that's referring to the, uh, the, the woman of our nation, okay? You know? They ain't going to weep, they going to be weeping for Tom Moose in that day. Yep, that's when they're going to call upon the Lord. All right. You know? Shit, they're going to be uh, weeping for a man to try and take care of him. Uh -huh. you know? That's when, you know, that prophecy of seven women going to take hold of one man is going to come into play. Yep. It says, uh, for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. Damn. Read that one more time. Verse 23 of Luke, chapter 21, verse 23. For there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. You proud fucking people, man. Okay, you, you people just you're gonna lose that fucking that, that pride and that sense of security that you people have, man. You know that you wanna go back to your, your fucking your wicked lifestyle. You gonna Good. continue on that shit forever. You want you want to die, man. You won't be, be surprised. It said that you wanna uh you gonna have distress and sorrow, okay? You wanna be afflicted in that day. You wanna feel the effect of the vision, okay? Uh, verse 20, 24. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 24. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination. Yeah, uh, uh, fucking uh, talking about the NFL is rigged. This team want to win and shit. You know, that, that vision fell, man. You know, you, you, you looking bad right now, man. You already yeah. look, was looking bad. Okay? Anybody please help me get back to Frankfurt? No. I need a token. All right, within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in the days, O rebellious house, will I say the word, and will perform it, saith the Lord power. So he's going to execute his judgment, okay? Listen, can you Got a precept. a brother out? This is uh, Romans chapter 11. You walk your ass to Frank. Okay, verse 5. It says, even so then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. It says, and if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. 
Con. Con, yeah, I'm just reading over them, you know? You know? Basically, the point of me reading the scripture is it's all about the elect, okay? The Lord says he has a remnant. Because the brother's getting into how the majority of our people are going to take part in all kinds of hell. Alright? So I'm starting from the top. Alright, so this message ain't just for everybody. We ain't out here to save no fucking heathens. We're not out here to save two-thirds. We're out here to reach the elect, whoever that might be, in whatever physical form they might come in. Alright? Because we acknowledge that not all Israel is going to look like a traditional Israelite, you know? That's the prophecy on the Gentiles. So, you know, we got to filter them out through the Spirit. Alright? Like, uh, you know, Paul wrote to Timothy, he does all things for the sake of the elect. So we're out here to save only that, man. That's who we're dealing with. Those who have, uh, you know, sincere minds and hearts for the word of the Most High. Want to actually learn something. Yeah, we only out here for the elect. Yeah. You know, we don't got time to deal with all these fucking crazy, you know, devils, man. They're, they're, dead, walk, they're dead men walking in anyway, you know? It's, uh, well, that's like the scripture says, don't be concerned with how the wicked shall die. This is uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 5. It says, Even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. There is a remnant, the elect. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Well, the elect. The elect, they, they only going to be Israelites, okay? That's they right. might not look like traditional Israelites like this brother's going into. Them. Yeah. Like uh, certain brothers in our camp, you know? Kind. Uh, to people outside the, uh, what we do, you know, they can are considered... Edomites, you know, or Arabs. You know? Put a sign up on the side. Cause we said we just have one sign up on that side. It says, uh, it says, and if by grace, and it is no more of works, otherwise grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more yeah, grace. It's basically, predestination. Okay, the Most High has a, a elect. Okay, a remnant. They just want to deliver. But guess what? The elect, they want to do the things that please the Most High. Exactly. Con, we're gonna do the will of the Most High. Because the elect, they got to go through hell to get to the kingdom, man. They, they ain't going to just want to die. Uh, uh, they, they way into the kingdom. They, they got to they gotta be tried, okay? They got to be purified. You want first Peter's what? First Peter's uh, what? Strangers. Oh, okay. Read the whole thing. All right, this is first Peter's one and one. Peter, an apostle. <clears throat> Of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to the strangers scattered. The strangers are it's like fun, okay? Gone. Scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. And that's the spirit, because I want to bring something out real quick on the scattered. Um, when you actually look up the word sperm, all right, it goes back to a word or synonymous with the word sprout, which actually means scattered. That's how we know Israel is is, is counted for the seed. You know, the seed of a man, all right? So you're an Israelite based upon your father. Now, seeing as how not all Israelites, or really any of us, have records to go back, we got to do it based upon the spirit. But we know that the scattered, referring to here, is actually Israelites, man. And when you look at that word uh, scattered, it goes back up to the word sperm, all right? So I just wanted to point that out. So this is who, uh, you know, Peter was referring to. It says, uh, elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling. Uh, real quick, you go back to the first verse. Uh, yeah, back up the brother, the word uh, in, in the Greek uh, for uh, scattered is, uh, scattered abroad is uh, diaspora, which yep. the, the meaning is simply of, of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. Con, yeah. Con, yeah. So yep. Paul, he didn't teach no fucking uh, cracker, okay? Con, and, and when you actually go into etymology of that word, uh, sprout, guess what? It's right there. Diaspora. The word diaspora is there, too. <clears throat> uh, Paul wasn't uh, trying to convert a damn cracker to the truth. Con, yep. It's only converting Israelites, okay? Uh, it's, uh, Peter, uh, First Peter is one and one. It says Peter, an apostle of Hamashiach Yahushai, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Hamashiach Yahushai. 
Great unto you. Okay, that's how we're going to get out of here exactly. by, by the blood of Yahweh Shah. Right. Okay, not by keeping the law. Said obedience also. 100,000%. Okay, 100, like this brother said obedience. Okay. It says, Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the power. And so, the so you got guys out there like the nigga uh, NASA, brother, call themselves on the beta side. Uh, uh, super spaghetti, some, some Sarah Sunday said, you know, he basically don't believe in the Lord, you know, how you gonna say, you know, in his prophecies, he's concerned about Yahweh Shah in the Old Testament, you know, you can't get it wrong, because the most high he casts his people off, and then he sent the son to, to adopt his back, okay, blessed be the, blood. Con, yeah, blessed be the power and the father of our Lord, uh, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you. 